ready. Welcome to another episode of the Sisters in Cash podcast. This episode is featured by creatortraffic.com, your traffic platform for OnlyFans. So today it's the honor for me because the one and only Andy Wolma is with me. Hello, Andy. <laughs> Hello, sister. Here's your brother. <laughs> How are you, Jessica? Good? I'm fine. How are you today? Great. Uh, this year was such an amazing year with creator traffic, model searcher. I was traveling again to all the shows around the world. So a pretty good year. And uh, next week we see us on the Venus show in Berlin. That's awesome. Yes. I can't wait for it. The parties yeah. with you are always the best, you know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's for me also the Venus show. Um, I was there already in 99 was the first company I was working for and then later, I had my own company, Arts on the Venus. My first award I won at the Venus as best. Really? Yeah, best porn production uh, was 2001 with MMV. So, yeah, Venus is always great. It is. I think this year will be amazing. There are a lot of new people. Yeah, Better than the last years. <laughs> yeah, of course. The, the COVID break was not so good for the show's. They have to come back. But this year, it will be big. Also, if you see the list of sponsors. And then also, for me, with Model Searcher and Creator Traffic, we meet a lot of models. And now a lot of models do only fans. So it's a good mix between business and the fans coming there also. So it's a good show, definitely. Yes, I can wait. Okay, Andy, um, you um was picking up the topic before. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about your new platform? Because it's also for me as a model, really interesting. Yeah, well, um, you know, social media is a big source of traffic for all kinds of models, for the OnlyFans or other platforms and campsites. So um, when you see, for example, Instagram, they are very picky on the content. You need to be very careful about safe for work, non-safe for work. It's not allowed. And you cannot link directly to your campsite or to your only fan site or any other fan sites. And then when you see Twitter, of course, in Twitter, you can post safe for work, uh, non-safe for work content. But the ranking, the algorithm, and it's, this is right now the big discussion because Twitter is not showing the content properly by the algorithm. And we had the idea to make a social media for OnlyFans models and other models to have a platform where the models can be sure that their content is uh, with the rules and they can decide safe for work or non safe for work. And they can directly link to their OnlyFans site or other fan sites. So that's the most important thing. Uh, you have a direct access to your OnlyFans account. And then, of course, Twitter and Instagram, they have a lot of more traffic, but a lot of people there are only there for like and uh, make comments and follow you. But in the end, we want to make money. And especially as a model, you don't, you don't live from likes, you live from subscribers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that was basically the idea to make modelsearcher.com this social media for only fans models and my team is already working that we spread out this for every kind of fan site and campsite right now we are a little bit more concentrated on only fans because they are the biggest you know you always go for the big uh, big players first but we will open this for any kind of model with their products and sounds right amazing and then, of course, you know, in, in my back, you see content is king or con well, how I say with the models, content is queen. So the models which are posting more content, they will be always on top on the feed and also on the search results. So I really want to come back that models which make good content and are always active, they get a better ranking in the search engine and they got on top of the results so they get more fans and subscribers on their platforms that's the basic idea behind it 
Okay, so I understand it right. If the model is more active, she will be featured a little bit more, right? Exactly. So, um, of course, when you see the search results, um, we have also some ads which you can buy with creator traffic. But the natural search results will be always that models which with the, the most pictures and most contents and posts, they will be on top. So um, that's the ranking function that we have a model searcher because we want that active models get more fans and subscribers. That's like the bonus for them. It's uh, free traffic if they are active. And this is the difference. If you work on uh, Instagram or Twitter, you depend always on the algorithm of these big companies and they don't really care about active or not active. They have an algorithm for different content and then and who is following and whatnot in our it's only you're active you're on top you're active you're on top so that's the di big difference between us as a social media specialized for models okay so um it's allowed for models to post everything there or it's just safe for work no it's also not safe for work and you can post pictures videos uh, blog posts, whatever you want to, to message out to your fans. Of course, um, when a user comes into the site, they can only see the safe for work content, but when they make also an account, they can see also the non safe for work. So for uh -huh. the outside, we only, sh we only show the safe for work stuff, but registered members can see all and people can also leave comments, likes, uh, they can follow you, put you as a favorite, and so on. So it's a real social media platform, but dedicated to models. And that's the huge difference. And our audience, the, the users on the site, they all look for models. So it's not like, you know, in Instagram, when I see my feed, I see diving videos, I see cooking, I see sports, I see models, I see everything. But in our case is all the people coming to a model searcher, they are looking for models. So give people what they are looking for and they will be paying customer hopefully in the future. Yeah, that's correct. Um, so, and about this platform, you have also another OnlyFans platform, right? Well, um, model searcher is our social media platform for OnlyFans models. And then we have creatortraffic.com. This is the place where you can buy ads. This is an ad network. So this is dedicated to individual models or agencies, and they can open accounts and buy ad spots on our OnlyFans search engines. For example, you can also buy ads on modelsearcher.com, but we have also fansmatrix.com and whobite.com. And on these sites, you can buy ad spots for different keywords. So basically this works like Google ads, you go inside, you upload a picture, save for work, you put your keywords, you pay some money in, and then we charge you cost per click CPC. So only when a customer clicks on your ad, comes directly to your only fan site, then you pay something. So creator traffic is our ad network, model searcher is our social media network, and fans metrics, who buy it, these are our main only fan search engines. So we have three different places, and some traffic is for free and some traffic you can buy. And the best, of course, is always the combination. If I would be a model, first I would go to Model Searcher, make my social media account, upload, upload content, get some people for free, make some money. And then I reinvest the money and buying ads to get even more fans and subscribers. It's like I teach always the model, see yourself like a startup company. You know, you need, when you make money, take some part of the money, invest in yourself. Have a good camera, have a good uh, sound system, buy nice lingeries, nice high seals. And of course, you need also spend money on marketing. Yeah. What would you prefer? What would you uh, tell models? What should models buy to invest also in their marketing? Not only to buy ads, but yeah, to push their marketing, their socials a little bit. Well, the, the basic traffic for a model comes from social media. Um, of course, for a model, which is already big on Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, if she has already an audience, for her, it's easy to move these 
customers or followers over to our only fan site or any kind of fan site. But as a new model, if you start and you have zero followers, you know how difficult it's right now to build up a fan base on these. Oh, yeah. Videos. And it takes a lot of time. So when you invest money there, you, you can buy, you know, all these places where you can buy followers and these, this is all fake, this is all Robert. You know, um, it's perhaps looking good if you have 100,000 followers. But if they don't buy nothing, it's again, it comes always back. You want to make money and only invest money in things they bring money back. So um, right now, I think um, the best way is to buy traffic. And of course, creator traffic is the most professional way to do it. And the, the quality of the traffic is all dedicated to OnlyFans. So people on our sites normally come through Google. They put in a keyword like uh, Russian, American, OnlyFans in combination, skinny, uh, big, whatever, any kind of keywords combinated with OnlyFans. So when they come to the OnlyFans search site, they see the results they were looking for. And then, of course, the, the picture is the most, uh, most important because the customer will click the picture of the girl he likes the most. And from the picture... He comes directly to your OnlyFans account. And I suggest always to promote your free account first because let people come in, let them subscribe, let them uh, write you a message, let them see some safe for work content. You know, it's like building a relationship with them. And when they write, you answer them and best answer them fast, not uh, two days later, because of course the competition in models is high. So the, the faster you respond to, to, to a fan, the faster you can make him a paid customer. So basi basically buy ads and then put a nice picture, bring them to your free site. And then the work is with the chatting and uh, of course with the content you upload. Yeah, and this, this is my next question. So if I will buy ads on creator traffic, um, I should buy it for my free page, correct? Well, free is one possibility. The other one is also trials. You know, make a special offer like the first month for two dollars, three dollars. So, but this, free trials. Free trials, yeah. So yeah. that's the best way. You know, it's like um, if you see a bar, you go in the street and there's a bar. And you maybe want to go in, but they charge you already in the entrance. You don't even saw the bar or the club. Um, it's always like, mm, okay, should I pay the entrance? And then you come in, it's shit, and you go again. So I know always, it's always better to let people in first, let them look around if they like what they see. And you know, especially on all these fan sites, the most important is build up a relationship uh, with the chatting. You so chatting is the most important, you know. Um, it's the same when, when a, a man comes into a bar, talks to a woman. If, if she says directly, can you buy me a drink? It would be like, okay. <laughs> if she starts, hey, how are you doing? You know, small talk. Yeah, I know. Talk, woman we, know we know how it works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yes, because I had also, I had two weeks ago, a podcast with Thorstenheim about media buying. And um, yeah, we was because a lot of girls, for example, if they will um, promote or are buying shoutouts, um, I know it from my side that it's the best to work with a free trial, of course, to get the user in your system, um, and not to do it with a um, with a month with a monthly subscription. So yeah. just promoting the account, but a lot of girls, I saw it the last months, uh, don't do it anymore. So I know it from the US girls, they just buying shoutouts and doing um, a lot of free trials. And um, now I hear that a, lot, that a lot of girls are just doing the monthly subscription promote, promotion. So I was not sure what's the best way. <laughs> Well, um, I would still recommend the free or the trial ones, uh, especially on an ad, the customer only see one picture of you. So it's difficult to make the decision if I want to buy something only by one picture. Um, the other one is 
Of course, um, I hear a lot of people in US, they got tired of all this uh, yeah, free, free uh, <laughs> who want to get everything for free. They write you a lot, you answer a lot, and they will never spend any money on you. So of course, for somebody who have already subscribers and making some money and have already enough to do to answer all these chats, Perhaps it's it's okay the decision to send directly to paid. It's something like a filter, people with no money, people with money. But uh, most of the new models and the new accounts, uh, you need to get people first in to make some subscribers. And then later you can change your tactics. But uh, it's really difficult. You know, uh, like, like in Germany, we also say, we don't buy the cat in the bag. You know, you don't know <laughs> what you get. <laughs> So yes, I know. It's better to it's better to show show content, be nice, talking, and then of course, if you have free customers and you feel in the chatting already that they want everything for free, then I would say, okay, come on, uh, you don't answer anymore, and then he will be gone. So it's difficult. The the game between time. And be friendly and making money. This is a balance you need to, every model needs to find for themselves. Yes, yes, it is. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit more? Um, when will um, modelsearcher.com be open for other platforms? It's on my priority list here and here and here. <laughs> it's you know, I'm asking about Fan Central. <laughs> Yes, of course. And I, you know, my friends from uh, Loyal Fans and Fansly and Slushy and It's My Girl and uh, Four Based and, you know, and all the campsites also. So, of course, that the reason is why it calls modelsearcher.com and not only fansearcher.com is because we want to do it for every model. But developers need their time. And I, and, and we know it. <laughs> And, and in the beginning, for me, it was important that we can go live. And the fastest way to go live was with the OnlyFans account. And then we started from there. Now we are live and we have already more than 40,000 posts there. We have a lot of models. We have 2 million visitors on the site. And now the next priority is to split up, to get more more other um, fan sites in. Then we work on the tracking that also the model can see by the tracking link, how much traffic and how much money she make through Model Searcher. Because imagine you're posting on Instagram and Twitter and uh, now you can post with us and you see you make more money when you post with us. So then it makes really sense to put more effort in us than on the other social media. And then the same was with TikTok. They have so many banned, there's so many words are banned. So you say only only fans and your account is closed. And in Instagram, you show a little bit of a nipple, your account is closed. And these kind of companies, if you try to get your account back, you're talking to a wall. No, nobody answer you. And of course, if you're lucky, you get But your you account pay a back. lot of money. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh all these, all these, you know, I'm since 23 years in this business and I'm also on Instagram and Facebook and I love social media. But in our case for models, I saw the need that we have a special place. So we make Model Searcher a safe place for models. There will not be, of course, every, everything that is illegal, we will delete. Also, the models have to make a KYC, so we know they are over 18 and the content is approved by our administration. So we want a safe place, but we want a safe place for sex workers around the world and bring them together with their fans. So that's the basic idea. I can't wait <laughs> to try the platform, honestly. Well, okay. As a user, you can also, you can check it out, you know, and see only the feeds, the, how the posts come in and everything. It's already there. It's already there. Of course, I can understand you with the Fan Central. We are working on it. I promise it will be my next priority or it's my highest priority to get this. Okay, perfect, perfect. Andy, because you are at all the shows, can you... We had we had a dis um, discussion last time, 
So um, in Amsterdam, Xbis, um, I saw a lot of new faces on models um, because models now trying to understand how important it is to show up at a Xbis show, for example, and to start networking. Do you have some tips and tricks for models um, what they should do at some conventions or why it is important to show up on some conventions because um, at the German market, honestly, there may be four girls or five girls, they show up on a big convention, but no one is there because if I ask my models, hey, will you be at the Xbis Amsterdam, for example? No, I won't be there. A company isn't paying me. And you say, yeah, but it's your business. You can, you are able to network and something like this. You can um, hear some panels. You can connect with other models or other companies. So why it's so important for models to yes. show up? Yeah, of course, there's always um, a cost factor. And of course, if you are a model in Germany, then I would suggest Venus is good and Xpis Amsterdam or TS in Prague, you know, then the cost is, I say, limited. Of course, to go as a German model over to LA or Miami shows, you have to fly to the hotel. It's, of course, a question of money. But the other side, when you go to a show, especially not only for models, everybody who is new in the business, it's interesting to see all these seminars. Because when you see, for example, Xbis, they are always concentrated to have very interesting seminars dedicated to models and you have the professional models they make really a lot of money and they teach you how they started and what they do to make this money then you have some legal if it comes about legal or dcma about your content so it's ai it's AI. AI, AI, ai technologies and all these stuff so it makes sense like a like a seminar and lesson to learn on the other side, if you meet another model in person and you you have some talk, you drink some drinks, you go on a party, with this model, it's way easier to make a GG or make a, a shout out. And if she knows people, you know people, you know, build up your network. That's the reason I go on every show since 23 years and I have a huge network. And if somebody asks me something, I'm sure I know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. You know? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah so it's definitely uh, something very interesting uh, for models to go in the show and most of the shows even offer free tickets for the models and then of course um you need to travel and you need a hotel but um like i said before a model need to see yourself like a startup company and uh, they need to invest and when they invest in themselves this is something I would do as a model, of course. You know, get nice clothes and or get pro everything professional to produce content, do marketing and do coaching. And then you invest a little bit here, a little bit there, and then you become a successful model. And it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. You know, I have a lot of uh, webinars with models. I know. And they, they think they become rich in uh, six months. Wait, uh, you have webinars with models? Yes, uh, we have uh, Camp Cash Daily. It's also a webinar that we do for models. Mostly now do it Zanita, but I started it with Zanita some uh, years ago. So we teach models how to perform in front of the camera and the, the daily tricks. Um, we have also a YouTube channel, Camp Cash Daily. You can check all the videos there. We have also a channel for model search and creator traffic. So a lot of videos out there on YouTube to see. Who if, who if, who's handling all these channels? Uh, sorry. Who's handling all these channels? Um, well, I upload content if I get it, but yeah, it's Zanita, Diana. We have different people in the crew. Because the only, it's a lot. Yeah. Well, the only the only channel I still do it's the Traffic Captain. That's my personal one. There, I post everything from my life. So from drone videos to scuba diving. <laughs> to shooting ranch, jumping from the sky tower, flying a jet <laughs> and interviews and parties and show and so on and so on and so on. I'm full of energy. <laughs> I know it. I know it. I know it. So you are now science at 23 years at the shows. 
Yeah, 99, AVN 99 was my first show. So, um, and I'm also AVN Hall of Fame member. I, 2020, exactly 21 years later, they they gave me the Hall of Fame at AVN. And Xpis, I'm a, a businessman or a CEO of the year, community figure of the year, um, GFY businessman of the year. Why not Hall of Fame? You know, I like... I have a video about how to be a good brand ambassador and collecting awards was one of the points. <laughs> I I should watch it. Yeah, I sent you over the link. Yeah, you should do. What would you say changed the last years in the industry? Um, well, definitely the the way for models, you know, um, dating is a very stable business. It stays there for a long time. And uh, pay sites with the certain niche content, they are working, they have their audience. Uh, of course, the tube sites as a traffic magnet, it's also a business. But in the live cam business to the fan sites, there I see the most break. More and more live cam models switch to fan sites. Of course, as a cam model, you need to be hours every day or a lot of days every day, six, seven, eight hours in front of the camera waiting for the customer. And on the other side, on the fan side, you produce your content, upload it, and the customer can take the content whenever he wants. So there I see a big switch. And also a lot of camp studios changing now to only fans agencies and a lot of models do both. So they do cam, but they reduce the time. They do cam and fan sites. Uh, there's a big change definitely in the market. And uh, the rest of the business is quite the same. If I see the traffic sources, um, if I see the, the companies on the shows are mostly the same, but mostly the managers change. <laughs> There's The new generation is coming in, and uh, but the companies are mostly the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The companies are the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, there's, of course, AI, crypto, virtual reality. These are also... What like... are you thinking about AI? Well, um, I'm, I love uh, I love AI already to create my emails. So uh, I write an email, like, you know, like, um, I only put some topics. Uh, and then I say, ChatGDP, uh, write me a nice email out of it. And it works. Normally, it works pretty good. Really? So, yeah, for my emails, I use a lot of my emails when I uh, I put only some bullet points together and then uh, say, ChatGB, make a nice email from it. That works definitely fine. And then uh, I have some AIs for pictures. It was like uh, last Friday, I posted these new, there's a new hype about these high school. Yeah. yeah. And I made it. And I posted it, and it was uh, like crazy. So that was one of the most likes posts I made on Facebook in the last. No, everybody went crazy on it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but this this is like playing around. Of course, if you see the future, um, and AI, it's I I think there will be a lot of AI models in the market in the future. The content, the pictures, the videos is all AI generated. Um, for example, they told me right now, for example, from you, I need only like uh, 20 pictures from you and I make, can make thousands of pictures of you. So, of course, it's always good you have a model one, you make some photo shooting and then you ne never need to book this model again. So it's um, the competition of AI will be there for models. And the same with the chatting. Uh, I tested some AI, AI chattings and they are amazing. You can ask them, for example, oh, I like Amsterdam. Yes, I like Amsterdam too. Wow, what is the best club? Yeah, I go to the X club there. Oh, yeah, I was there. Yeah. And the discussion was really like talking to a real person because they have the whole internet as, you know, they are even smarter than me because they have the whole internet in, in their brain. <laughs> yeah, I saw I saw at the X bis Amsterdam um, in speed uh, networking, there was also a girl and she had a she had the AI chat. It was always one person. So AI chat for OnlyFans, for fan platforms, for Telegram, for Instagram, for Twitter, for WhatsApp. I said, what? 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure, you need only to feed them with the right data. Also, AI will be a big part in our industry for chatting, for pictures, for voice. I even, I, I already made an AI for my voice. I'm not 100% uh, happy with it, but um, people recognize me. So it's not 100% me, but people recognize me. And the only thing that everybody said, you have way more emotion in your language. <laughs> so uh, that's that's the point, you know, AI will be smart in many ways, but emotion, emotion is something I think it's difficult for AI. The same in a video. Uh, videos are quite difficult right, right now for AI, but uh, most of the videos which are good are only like five to 10 seconds. If, uh, longer videos are still not possible or very expensive to produce them. Um, so, But this will change in the future too. But I think even there, they will have a problem to bring the right emotion because the, all these little moves in our face when we have emotions and in the voice, I think this... Uh, that will make the difference. But in general, AI will be a big part in our industry for sure. Yeah, the problem is, and um, we was talking in a panel on Express Amsterdam with Corey. You was in the panel now, right? No. Um, it, there was a lot of, there are a lot of legal stuff you have to take care of. So if someone created an AI version of you and can start with a lot of fan platforms, for example, that's yeah there are a lot of stuff what we're going on right now yeah sure yeah sure. but um this when you see this this is not only in the adult industry that's everywhere and like always governments are behind the same with crypto the same with ai governments don't have the idea what's up about technology and then they try to make some laws about it and till they make the laws it's already happened you know, uh, for example, in crypto, I know everybody almost in my industry have uh, Bitcoins. You know, it's normal to pay in Bitcoins. And the government is still thinking about ideas to make a regulation. Now with AI, uh, if they are talking, yeah, hey, we need to make some laws. And every day there's a new startup doing anything with uh, everything with AI. So governments are slow. We are fast. <laughs> It is like this. So, what is for you the favorite show of the in, in, of the industry? Oh, I, can, <laughs> yeah, I cannot say it. If I say now <laughs> show, all the other shows will be crying. You know, <laughs> and that's why I'm asking. <laughs> well, definitely for me, it's also um, the TES in Prague. It was always a show I have a special relationship. It was my to. first show. Oh yeah. Yeah, for me not, but it, is, it was the first show. I always did my VIP parties. Uh, in September, we had it again. It was the 10th year anniversary party. And of course, Prague is a good city. It's the good uh, Andreas and Walter make a very good organization. So this is definitely one good show in Prague. Then um, if I see it from the affiliate part, the show in Bangkok, the affiliate world, it's not so much dedicated to the adult industry, but there's also dating people, only fans, managers, camps. So Bangkok, uh, the, the affiliate world, it's also a difficult one, good one. Um, then Venus Berlin, if you want to see fans, the Venus show in Berlin, it's the big, huge show with fans. Same like AVN in Las Vegas, and Las Vegas is always a good place to travel. Uh, XP is Miami because it's Miami, you know, the, the only show where you sit all day on a pool. <laughs> it's, it's the best pool party show in the world. And yeah, Webmaster Access in Cyprus is also nice. So there's a lot of nice shows. And that's the good part. Every show have a little bit different audience and they have special places. And uh, so every show makes sense to go. Definitely. Ah, way, I have an, an, in Facebook, I have my Captain's Business Lounge. It's a group, Captain's Business Lounge on uh, Facebook. And there I have always my event calendar. There you can see all the shows happening in the year. It's like 30 events or something like that. Take That's summer. really important. Yeah, make it easy. Make, you know, this, this, um, this group I made only for Business Insider. So it's a close group. 
I don't want any spammers, not any wankers. I only want people from the industry. And so I, I make I make the work once for me so I can share it with everyone. And then you have the date, the link, everything is there. Amazing, amazing. Um, yeah, Andy, do you like to tell us a little bit more? You know, a lot of people uh, hear this industry podcast too, but maybe you like to say something else. Everybody knows you about it, so. <laughs> yeah, well, um, in the end, check out modelsearcher.com. If you want to buy traffic, take creatortraffic.com. If you're in the dating area, go to trafficpartner.com. And uh, my telegram is the traffic captain OF. So traffic captain OF, check me out on my telegram, traffic captain on YouTube. And enjoy life, make money. If you are models yourself, also like a startup company and everybody else out there. I like this industry. I do it for 23 years. And that's how we met. That, that's how I met many people. And we make laugh, not war. You know, that's the most yes. important. We make laugh, not war. And uh, yeah, happy to see you next week in Berlin. And Happy to you see you. And if you're a scuba diver, uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you're a scuba diver, watch my videos. I'm a master diver. I like to teach people to dive. And that's all. Uh, Andy, Good. one minute. I have to take a picture of you okay. for social right. media. You you know how it works. Wait, I have to I have to find the best filter way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, it's working. Perfect. Good. Photo That's the best. In a podcast, we are multitasking. <laughs> you know, we will cut off a lot of reels of this. You <laughs> okay? The reels, yeah, yeah, reels and shorts and yeah, 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 yeah. Social media, but social media, social media. What do you think is the most important social media platform? Modelsearcher.com for sure. <laughs> <laughs> perfect Andy thank you for being in my podcast it was amazing a lot of new information and yeah happy to see you in Berlin thank you sisters so everybody <laughs> out there yeah follow the sisters in cash this is the most important podcast for the industry with the captain you always go for a gas and we see you soon on the next show Captain Ahoy with <laughs> modelsearcher.com and creatortraffic.com. And bye Sisters bye. in Cash. Bye-bye. Sisters in Cash. <laughs> <laughs> click, click Thank cash. you so much. Click, click cash. Yeah. <laughs> bye, Jesse. Bye-bye.